And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and to everybody on YouTube for some Lee Sin Zed. Not really the Lee Sin Zed deck you may be used to with Bastion and Targon. We're playing it with Freljord. We've tried this um, a couple of times and it's it's a pretty fun one to play. We're going to be buffing up our Lee Sin, buffing up our Zed, making them even bigger. That's the goal and the card to do it is going to be a Starlet Seer. Um, so that we're going to be using our star casting a bunch of spells, using our Starlet Seer to buff up the units in our deck. Um, I wanted to play some Ionia today. I've been kind of looking at it and realizing I hadn't played any Ionia since the new set came out and haven't played any Ionia in a while. So we had two Ionia decks on the docket today. This is our first one. And I'm going to be trying out brand new card, Nopify. Because, um, you know, we're still trying out all these new cards now. I, I've been, uh, I haven't been too high on Nopify from just kind of being out there you know, just from what I've said about it. But I want to actually try the card and uh, see how it goes. I could see it being good against Bilgewater Noxus with them having um, some really impactful spells like Make It Rain and Ravenous Flock and things like that. And if you play against decks with Culling Strike or anything like the Twisted Fate Swain version, that, that deck um, Nopify is probably pretty good against them. So we're going to try it out. We'll see if we're able to Nopify anything, if it ends up working for us. Um, but yeah, basically just a whole bunch of spells, trying to buff up our Lee Sin and our Zed and make them even bigger. We have Omen Hawk um, that does a good job of buffing them up as well. So that's our deck. All right, let's get to it. Let's go and go, go play five games. So we do with each deck, we play five games per deck. And hopefully get some winning records today. That's, the, that's always the goal. All right, Trundle, Trindamir, Trundlemir. Pretty fun to say, Trundlemere. All right, I like leading with Omen Hawk. We'll mulligan those two. Will of Ionia, maybe I shouldn't be mulliganing so quickly. You know, I just basically mulligan the two expensive spells. But Will of Ionia could be a good way to like, you know, that's that's a good card, especially against Trindamere. Hey, see, it came back with it costing eight mana, and then you spend five to put it back in their hand. A pretty good tempo card. All right, so hopefully Omen Hawk just hit one of our champions or Starlet Seer. Nope. If I was the card that actually hit. Does this hit Catalyst of Aeons? No. Avalanche? No. Hey, what's up, Zed? This works out pretty well having Zed right here. Now we'll have Deny available. Ooh. Well, I like I like getting the attack in before they play Trundle. Try to level up the Zed. I am the My skill is unrivaled. All right, Zed, your skill is still unrivaled. If they play Trundle, you know, or Hearth Guard, so they're tapping out. We'll just play the Lee Sin. Get that in play. This was a good curve. Today we fight as one. I could see blocking with the Avaros and Sentry. Could also see not not blocking. Could see either way. We'll go with not blocking and just holding up the counter spells. Okay, now we're going to attacks. All right, we will give this challenger. Is all in the mind. Our challenge over here. Challenge that last. I don't know if that really matters. And we'll see, like they have to, you know, the onus is on them to do something here. And, you know, we'll see what we want to do with this resonating strike. Yeah, they can't can't handle it. GG's, wanna know. None escape their shadow. Alright, well it doesn't get any better than that last hand. Lulu Shen. No omen hawks. Um so Nopify is good against single combat. And then Brittle Steel great in. Actual combat with attacking. 
against like barriers. I'll try keeping this Nopify for single combat. We'll see if that ends up being worth it or not. Because I'm thinking that like I attack with Zed, they block and use barrier on their thing, and then I brittle steal their thing. That's what I'm kind of feeling like could happen here with the brittle steal. And then of course, single combat with Nopify. Oh, well, Brittle Seal may be very useful at stopping a Flea Feather Tracker from challenging my Zed as well. I am the blade in the darkness. Break their spirits and their swords. Hmm. They won't suffer long. This is my opponent. Just gotta do this to keep to get this two four, you know, down from being a two four basically. I'm not sure what your question is, Kordak. Yeah, just yeah, we playing some Freljord. So I don't think that they'll have anything for one mana. Just be able to take out both of their challengers. All right, maybe we don't put the pressure on them and just have Stand United and then then Harsh wins. Right, I hope they don't have single combat. In the mind. Conflict is all in the mind. Five mana deep meditation, not the best, but I, I think that was better than just passing, getting some more spells. Watch all you want. My order will act. I don't know, I thought it was just really risky to attack, but I guess, so after they, okay, maybe after they played the, the Shen, then I could have challenged the 1-1. One, one. You're covered. Duty, selflessness, heavy burdens. That's a lot of stuff. I guess I probably just shouldn't have played Deep Meditation, should I? Should I just played the Avros and Sentry? This is going to be... Three, six, seven, eight damage put me down to two. Cause you know, I'll, I'll block the flower child. Protect and strike. Positive. Can't fight on an empty stomach. I'll see this through. I will not hold back. Free. Hmm. Alright, so I Sonic Wave Lee or I Sonic Wave here, give this plus two, challenge the Shen. Challenge I guess I guess I it has to be the young winch. If they just have a barrier card for the Shen, I'm in trouble. Okay. So yeah, I, I need to challenge that one one the, the turn before, and um, either that or I, I need to play Avaros and Sentry. That's probably what I should have done. Is just play Avaros and Sentry. Don't play Deep Meditation. That would have been better for me. Well, that's not as good for me. These old eyes still see far and clear. 
We're still okay. Soldiers to me. Uh, not anymore. It's gonna be six. Now I was you know, basically thinking like, can't you know, can we get like another plus two plus zero? And that answer is no. So I have to. Yeah, no, no, this isn't gonna work. All right, we're keeping Nopify. <laughs> that didn't help. Uh, I guess we can get the Zed card. Okay, so we can get the Zed card. That's our best bet. And I should do that now. Conflict is all in the mind. Okay, good. Oh, oh no! I don't have the mana for Harsh Winds plus Shadow Shift. We need Harsh Winds plus Shadow Shift. All right, never mind. We still survive. Yes, that was. Yeah, could have maybe had that game. This is probably going to be a pretty tough matchup. I like our hand, though. I like having the two Omen Hawks right away. Because, um, you know, like, this, this deck is just so fast and aggressive and goes wide so fast. Our deck, especially, you know, like, Lee Sin, better against uh, slower decks that don't go wide. Explosives prime. So love having the two Omen Hawks right away. Get to do some trading. Also love drawing the Spirit's Refuge. That could be quite important. That could be quite important. All right, so if I play Omen Hawk, then I don't have Troll Chant Mana anymore. I could I could just wait, not play Omen Hawk, and so the next turn, then I have Zed into Lee Sin, and I have the two mana for Troll Chant. Is Troll Chant going to be that important? Probably. I would have a backup Zed. If they played, if they played other, if they played another thing on turn two. Okay, yeah, their their hand just wasn't good. Like four three Zed on turn three is really difficult to deal with, especially with you know I had trolled. Basically, what I was thinking is I wanted to have my troll chant for a potential get excited. That's what I was thinking there, um, but yeah, that's that's really difficult to deal with. If they played other things on turn two and were going wide, then I probably would have played my Omen Hawk. Okay, Garen Trundle. I did play against a, a deck with Garen Trundle before, and they were kind of like a Garen Trundle alone deck. Um, so yeah, expecting like, uh, well, like they'll probably have single combat, but I'm still gonna mulligan the Nopify. That's the only thing that does. Uh, I'm gonna keep Deny though, because they're gonna, like, if this is the same kind of deck that we played before, they're gonna have like Concerted Strike, uh, Remembrance, things like that. Love starting with Starless Seer. I haven't seen Starless Seer too much yet. Um, so this is this is like a Remembrance turn, right? Like I would love to just deny Remembrance, but if they don't have Remembrance, I want to play Zed and get that in play. Yeah, they may be just going with some ramp. So this is this is difficult. Of what you know, do we slam? Because if I if I slam down Zed and then they just play Remembrance to get a five five, then I'm just like looking at my hand and thinking like, why did we do that? Without a sound. I'll go for it. Please no remembrance. No. No, no, no. Just play like Catalyst of Aeons. Don't even have that either. Just don't have anything. Maybe Avalanche? You can have Avalanche. Okay, Avalanche. They can have Avalanche. This will be a good winter. We can still have a pretty good winter. Even with an Avalanche. Which usually you think an avalanche would be a bad winner, right? Like that's that's not the kind of winner that you want. My skill is All right, lots of starless ears. That's going to be buffing up some stuff. Yeah, Breeze, yeah, I, I, I did the... Uh, I got the stuff done for the, the YouTube video earlier, and it just had it uh, posted. Yeah, that's why I... Like, 
I always have like the video that posts at 5 a.m. local time. I'm always asleep. You know, I've never been awake at that time. <laughs> you know, so it, you, you just have it scheduled to be published. Um, but speaking of that, I don't know when... Do I need to... Oh, gosh. Yeah, I need to change. There are... In that video, there are, ad, there are like 15 ad breaks in that one video. I need to fix that. All right, let's go to attacks. Fix this. All right, blocking over here. Sounds good. Down to three. For king and country. Mm, I'm just going to pass. Okay. Because I could see sequel combat happening right there. We do what is right. Master yourself. Master your enemy. So I'm kind of expecting judgment, right? Like, I, I think that that's how my opponent's going to try to win this game is judgment. Or concerted strike. Um, I'm going to let this happen. Blessed by snow and stars. So Garen levels up. We must not relent. But basically, I'm just going to have deny for judgment, and that should be game. But just keep deny deny for that. Oh! I can't play Zed this turn. Hmm. That's right. Next turn. Okay, no, I don't need to play you, Sentry. Without a sound. Vermin! Oh, Yeah, they gotta be relying on judgment. I stand ready. And there we go. GG's. All right, three and one. GG's. Zed wins games real fast. Fiora Lulu. Not Shen. Lulu. So Averroes and Sentry can probably be a keep, but the problem with Averroes and Sentry is that it's, it is a very easy target for their Fiora. So that does make me want to mulligan it. Um... I know in treats go get my champions. My champions are really good, but I kind of like that in the like in treat getting the champion in the late game, and not necessarily spending that kind of mana right away on getting the champions. I'd rather just you know have our Omen Hawk, Starlet Seer, you know, just help, just set up. Can see the Nevastian border from here. Safeguard our homes. So. Like always when playing against Fiora, you just hope they don't have Fiora. I long for a Definitely the worst possible card for me to see. Quickly, or go. So I want to... I guess we play Lee Sin. So I I kind of want to pass. That's what I want to do is just pass and then they... Cool. Waste all that mana. I want to pass and then they uh, do something and then I like play Lee Sin and surprise them. That's what I want to do. Alright, how's this going to work? Okay, they're going like that. I never hold trying So 
So I can go with Spirit's Refuge. I think Spirit's Refuge is probably the best option. Here. Conflict is all in the mind. Problem is I want to play another card for Lee Sin. Getting the barrier. Also. But I would prefer... Yeah, you know, like, I, I don't want to play that because I prefer to be able to have Fury of the North or Deny available. So basically right there, I used... Um, yeah, I just use a card draw spell, but so I basically use my Spirit's Refuge and they, they use two spells to go along with that. So that was a good trade for us. Um, we can play the Zed. Without a sound. We can all hear you, Zed! Silly Scuzzlebloom. Conflict is all in the mind. I will not Love that brittle seal. My lands need you. Prepare yourself. What are they gonna do if I challenge Fiora? Like repost, and then I brittle steal it. Center your spirit. Prepare yourself. We go as one. I have no time for fools. Counter and strike. Conflict is all in the mind. What if I should have just been attacking with the sentry also? <clears throat> Alright, we will trade Brittle Steel for Riposte and get damage in and kill Lulu. So this is going good for us so far. They they have three cards in hand. And I have six. I would put you down. Oh god! I would just let that Aperos and Sentry die. Probably your good. Brittle Steel, Troll Chant, these cards are awesome. Your move. Alright, my move. Another barrier, unfortunately. But we'll go we'll just go with the Fury. Keep harsh winds. Conflict is all in the mind. Alright, yep, because that's ran them out of cards. Um, so you know they are done. Freljord's so underrated with Lee Sin and Zed. People want to play Targon, but I like Freljord. You know, the Freljord's pretty sweet. GG. So a nice 4-1 here. Um, quick games, that's for sure. You know, like, you, you get a buff Zed right away. People give up. This was, this was good. All right, Nopify um, didn't do anything. You know, didn't never cast a Nopify, never had a target for Nopify. Uh, so it didn't do anything. Um, so maybe that should just be a one of, and then like Spirit's Refuge be a two of. Spirit's Refuge looks pretty good. But I would want to keep playing it. We didn't play against Bilgewater Noxus. So I you know, want to just keep trying at Nopify. Um, but yeah, it didn't didn't do anything in those games that we were playing. Um, we did play against two Demacia decks. So they didn't play any single combats. where that, like That's where it would be real good against. Uh, that's about about the only thing I would do there. Um, and against like the we played against a couple like Shadow Isles for all your decks. So they didn't play any like Vile Feasts or uns Unspeakable Horror. That's that's where we're that's the kind of card that would be countering in that matchup. So there's usually like one card per deck <laughs> for Nopify, except for Bilgewater Noxus. They have a variety of things. Um. All right. Anyway. <clears throat> That's it for uh, Lee Sin Zed. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And feel uh, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Anything else? Um, you know, what do you want to see on stream? All that kind of stuff. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.